Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.2.6 and iOS 11.3 beta three have been out for a few days and I thought I'd share my experience and see what you had to say in the poll that I ran on YouTube. So the first thing is I'm running an iPhone eight plus here running iOS 11.2.6. And for me, it's been pretty stable. Now I have been using the beta as my main everyday daily driver phone. I've been using 11.2.6 on and off. And so far I have to say it's been pretty good. Battery's decent. I didn't really have too many issues with 11.2.5 and everything seems to be okay. I haven't had any crashes or anything like that. Uh, apps open fluidly, folders are working quickly, no issues here, anything like that. Uh, everything just seems to be okay with 11.2.6 and pretty stable, at least in my experience. We'll check out some of the things you had to say in a minute, but let's move on to 11.3 beta three. And I've been using this on the iPhone 10, like I said, and for the most part, it's good. I find that I have most of my issues personally within Apple CarPlay, specifically with third party apps, maybe this pocket cast app for podcasts. Uh, this particular app seems to work fine on the phone itself, but when I'm running CarPlay, it's just really slow and laggy. Sometimes occasionally I'll have hiccups where I go into the maps app and it crashes. So I'll open maps and then it will just crash. But when I'm just using the phone itself like this, I haven't had any issues. Some people were asking me about Wi-Fi issues. I've had no issues whatsoever. Battery has been pretty good while it has been plugged in uh, for about 10 minutes today just in my car while I was using it with CarPlay. Uh, I've got 55% battery. It was taken off the charger at, oh, about 6.30 this morning, and we're at 55%. So I've been having really good battery. Uh, let's go here and take a look at usage. I'm not really sure what it is, but let's take a look. Give it a moment. And... 15 hours and seven minutes usage, 17 hours and three minutes standby. And like I said, it has been in connected, uh, but only for about 10 minutes or so. The next thing is what you had to say. Now, these are some older devices. This is a six plus and an SE that's right here. And let's see what you had to say. I did a a poll on YouTube and 2000 of you responded. So I really appreciate that. That makes it really nice. Let me turn the brightness down here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But I asked how many people or what people thought, and these are all the responses and how is iOS 11.2.6 and 11.3 beta three been for you? i should have probably split this up, but 47% said great. 10% said terrible. 43% said, okay, but still some bugs. Now, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, let's take a look at some of the responses. So on the dev beta three iPhone six gets very hot just after about three hours of usage. It's been happening since iOS 11.3 beta one stopped using it now. And now using a Xiaomi Redmi four, uh, I'm running 11.2.6 on the iPhone success. I've been running iOS 11 since beta one. I've been curious to see how it would work for you. 11.2.6 on an eight plus stable, but battery life is reduced significantly. I haven't personally experienced that, but I wonder if that's specific to different apps. I'm not sure. Here's an iPhone SE 11.2.6. And I still have a problem with the weather widget from the native weather app. It doesn't update the data in real time. The second thing is that when I'm on 4g, not Wi-Fi, almost all the apps are not sending notifications. And it seems that background app refresh is not working. I have to do a force restart every time I've heard this from some other people that 11.2.6 is not sending notifications. I wonder if that's while you're not on Wi-Fi or on Wi-Fi. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that in the comments. Uh, let's see if we can find some seven plus still have some issues with 11.2.6 stutter bugs. 6s has been great, but on the iPad, it's been more buggy with the beta iPhone six, 16 gigabyte, 11.2.6 terrible. That's not good. Uh, for some reason, I feel there's been a dip in battery performance, 11.2.6 on the six S. So it seems like, well, while I haven't had too much of battery issues, it seems to be pretty consistent about uh, across quite a few of you. Battery life hasn't been great. Not bad at all, but bugs here and there. 11.2.6 has been great on my SE battery life is fine. So I guess it, it's a lot of the time. It's really how you use your phone. Are you playing games, watching videos, things like that? Let's see if we can find a couple more right at the top. 11.2.6 has been okay on my SE for the past two days. 
battery life was improved with beta, beta 3. So for the most part, it seems really hit or miss. And next time I'm definitely going to split these up so that we're talking about the beta and 11.2.6 where the public releases separately. But right now uh, it seems that it's okay and it needs some work. I'm a little bit disappointed with the responses with 11.2.6. Uh, I thought more people would say that it's great, but for me, like I said, it's been stable. I don't tend to have too many issues because I don't use this for really many games. I use this mostly for social media and photos and some YouTube videos, things like that. I don't use it too much for games or anything, I guess, super processor intensive except for video and photos. Now on 11.2.6, uh, this one... Uh, I am tempted to go back to a more st stable OS when you're using a beta, you're bound to have issues. But basically I think at this point uh, we can count that betas are going to have bugs. The public release is, uh, it seems to be almost 50, 50, depending on which phone you have. So if you have some of the uh, few year old devices or, or three or four year old devices, that's going to make a little bit of a difference for whoever's using them. Let me know your experience though in the comments below. Uh, if you find these videos helpful and want me to do more every time there's new updates, let me know that as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.